Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is your Impact Wrestling Review. Um, Impact was pretty good last night, guys. It was it was okay. There was the pacing of the show felt a little bit off, but overall it was okay. Anyway, guys, before we go any further, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that bell button so you know when I upload these videos. Still suffering with a little bit of the cold today. So if I do pause or anything like that, it's just I'm trying to catch my breath because these nostrils aren't working now. <laughs> right, let's get into this guys. So the Impact World Championship match, Eddie Edwards versus Rob Van Dam. Eddie Edwards picked up the win. Solid match. A good kind of start off to the show. 2.5 stars. Nothing special guys, just a solid match. I'm not too fond of the new RVD character. Um... It's kind of new gimmick, and the the Katie who's with him, just Katie Forbes, really, really just isn't something that I enjoy at the moment. Anyway, guys, so we move on. We've got after the match, Edwards is celebrating. Eric Young comes out. He attack. He takes on Eddie. And he kind of starts kicking and stomp, stomping them. He says to Eddie, he's facing them next week, and he stomps Eddie in the head. Then we head to Wrestle House. I'm really not fond of Wrestle House at all, guys. I've I was in between, not sure if I was enjoying it or not, but I'm really just not enjoying it at all. Then we get uh, in the Wrestle House thing, obviously a blindfold match, which Crazy Steve versus Johnny Swigger. Crazy Steve picked up the win. This really was just like a nothing match, kind of just there for the sake of it. Backstage, we have Eddie Edwards, he's yelling, he's searching for Eric Young, he says if Eric wants to go nuts, they can go nuts. <laughs> and then the, the, a few things happen, then there, Edwards is in the ring, he grabs a mic, he's calling out Young, Young comes out, they have a little back and thing. It's a pretty cool thing in the, pretty cool, the usual go to brawl, hold each other, get held back, stuff like that. It was a pretty cool little segment and I'm really looking forward to the... Uh, the Young and Edwards kind of feud style. There was then a locker room talk segment which we just got to bypass because it wasn't that good. And then there really seems to be so many more promos in this match. Eh, sorry, in this emergence instead of from last week. But um, yeah, then we get one of the best kind of promos vignettes that I've seen in a while. And that was EC3. So we get a vignette for EC3 where he mentions July the 1st, 2015 where he won the world title from... Um, Kurt Angle his greatest achievement the last moment he was happy and he he still can't let it go he's holding Moose's TNA world title and he can, he's saying that he's going to have to make a sacrifice for everybody and he wanted to he, all he wanted was respect pride and love and all he got was pain regret and hate he goes on but this was a great promo guys it really was a great promo then we've got Brian Mars versus Willie Mack. Brian Mars picked up the win. 2.5 stars again. It was a right call giving, giving Mars the win. The match was technical, technically solid. It just really was a middle of the road match again. 2.5. Then it's time for another hashtag Heath for Impact. This is really wearing thin on me just now, by the way, the, the Heath for Impact thing. Anyway. Heath says that Rhino is facing Reno Scum and we have one week to make Heath for Impact happen. So they need to get the hashtag trending in order for Heath to help out Rhino. I, I really am just not in this thing at all. Anyway, more Wrestle House. <laughs> we get Larry D versus Johnny Bravo, Johnny E Bravo. Larry D picked up the win. This was like 20 seconds, 35 seconds, whatever it was. It was a waste of time match, but it was there. Then we move on to a 30 minute Iron Man or Iron Woman match for the Knockouts Championship. It was Jordana Grace versus Prusso. Prusso? Prusso? Whatever it is. <laughs> Four stars, guys. Um, Duana. Duana Prozano, whatever the hell her name is, she picked up the win. 
It was fantastically paced Iron Man match. Now, as of anybody who's seen Iron Man match, you'll know that sometimes it just gets really sloppy or really stale. But this was a really good paced match. The, the both of them put on a credible show. Both of them done really great, and they just done a really good job at it. Four stars, definitely match of the night. So far, match of the week. But um, yeah, this was really enjoyable. So overall, I gave this the whole show three stars. The reason it got three is because it's been pushed up with that four star match there. Otherwise, it would have probably just fell at a two point five three. So 2.5. So night two of emergence um, had less matches. The pacing felt really off. Felt like all the matches were at the very end, and it was just like this big bunch of like segments and vignettes and promos. Um, and Wrestle House never helps that. EC3 cut one hell of a promo. I probably would say night one was slightly better. It was still a solid wrestling show tonight, but night one was slightly better and. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing EC3 back where he belongs and that main event picture with the belt and yeah, just can't wait to see what the kind of next stuff that he's going to be doing. I'm really excited for this guy. But um, yeah, it was it was enjoyable. If you watch Night 1 and 2, you'll enjoy the wrestling. You're not going to feel hard done by by just watching one but uh, or missing out. You will enjoy both of them. Anyway guys, I'm going to Love yous and leave yous there. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Go in the description, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I'm pretty active on both of them. And uh, yeah, I'll see you back here tomorrow, I think it is, for NXT. Or maybe that's moved. I'll see you back at some point for AEW, NXT, Smackdown. I know that's on the Friday night. And then we've got pay, uh, Payback as well. So uh, yeah. Quite a, a big week of wrestling reviews. Anyway, guys, I'll let you go enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to go and get some rest and get some uh, hot tea and maybe try and get this, this cold away. See you later.